How's it going, everyone? It's about three o'clock. Another hour has passed and we are still getting a lot more news on some players that have been officially cut, as well as some players that are reportedly have made the initial 53 man roster. So starting with the players that have made the roster, uh, Matt Schneiderman reports that Packers are keeping offensive tackle Kadeem Telfort on the initial 53 per source and also announced that rookie six round Offensive lineman Travis Glover made the Packers initial 53 per source. Travis Glover is not really a shocker considering the Packers did draft him this year. And Gutekunst doesn't really cut his draft picks in the same year. So this one's not totally a shocker. But as of now, two more offensive tackles have made the 53-man roster. Now moving on to the players that didn't and have officially been released. Uh, we have three new players. So first one reported from Matt Schneidman again, Packers release running back Ellis Merriweather per source. So with that, now they are down to four running backs and I feel like they're going to keep these four running backs. So you're going to have Josh Jacobs, AJ Dillon, Marshawn Lloyd, who should go on IR. And then you have Emmanuel Wilson, who had a very good preseason and pretty much has earned his spot on this team. So with Marshawn Lloyd, really, You'll have three running backs, and considering A.J. Dillon's also dealing with an injury, you might see uh, Emmanuel Wilson be the number two running back against the Eagles in week one. Then moving on to the last two players that have been released, Ryan Wood tweets out that Packers are releasing offensive lineman Lesitis Smith per source. There is interest in bringing him back on the practice squad. And then from Bill Hubert, he has announced that Royce Newman has been released. This one honestly took a little bit longer than I expected, but glad to kind of see him release. Uh, he's kind of been abysmal. Didn't expect him to make the team, but I've seen crazier things with Packer squads. So starting off the day on the offensive lineman position, um, here we have we had Rashid Walker and Andre Dillard at left tackle. Andre Dillard is still on the roster bubble as of right now at left guard. Elton Jenkins will make it. Royce Newman has been cut. And then Donovan Jennings also on the roster bubble. So we're waiting for Dillard and Donovan Jennings on the left side. At center, Josh Myers is going to make it. Jacob Monk should make it. He was a draft pick this year, so he should make it. And Lesetis Smith was just cut. At right guard, Jordan Morgan's going to make it. Sean Ryan, he is technically on the roster bubble, but I feel like he's definitely going to make it. And Luke Tenuto was just cut. Then at right tackle, Zach Tom, lost. he's pretty much a roster lock. Kadeem Telfort has made it, and Travis Glover. So really, we're kind of just waiting on Andre Dillard, Donovan Jennings, Jacob Monk, and Sean Ryan. But Jacob Monk and Sean Ryan, I feel like, are as close to locks as can be. So I feel like they're definitely going to make it. It's really going to come down to Andre Dillard and Donovan Jennings. Now, really, Andre Dillard is going to be the interesting one. He was terrible. Absolutely terrible at right tackle. But at left tackle... He was pretty good. So do the Packers keep him and have a only left tackle backup over there and wait till they find someone, maybe a swing tackle and a true swing tackle for this team? Do they go after Bakhtiari? I'm just putting out that out there. Not saying they will, but just saying he's still a free agent and he's not going to start. But as of right now, Andre Dillard is kind of the one I feel like he might make it just because of his performance at left tackle, but not at right tackle. And that about wraps up some of the roster news that's happened in the last hour. The Packers have about 17 players left to cut, and it's about 17 because it's depending on how many players they decide to put on IR and all that. So last hour, considering 4 o'clock is right around the corner, uh, it's going to be a little bit interesting. We might still get reports after 4 o'clock of who's been released, considering depending on how the news feed trickles down. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, and as always... Go Pack Go!